Hey there, this is Lula LV. Today's video is an exclusive preview of everything coming in drop one of the Louis Vuitton Yayoi Kusama collaboration. Drop one will be launching on January 5th. And in this video, we're going to take a look at everything in drop one with photos, item IDs, and prices in US dollars. I did a poll on my community page on YouTube asking if you wanted to see the prices in US dollars or euros. Most people answered US dollars. However, I will have a link in the description box below for the euro pricing if that's what you're interested in. And if you want to see my community posts and participate in future polls, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you will see those. Now let's dive right in and take a look because we have a lot to go through. We're going to kick things off with a brand new bag and it is an Asia exclusive, so there's no USD or Euro pricing. And this is called the Marilini. It's the same as the Louis Vuitton Morel bag, but a smaller version. Here are the measurements. I believe this is the first time we're seeing this new bag. However, if you like this design, but you're not a fan of the Kusama collaboration, we should be seeing this bag come out in plain epi leather in three different colors. I believe black, white, and pink and that will be later this year. Let's go into the lookbook now. Let's start with the men's selection because there's not as much to go through here as in the women's collection. I do really like how this site is organized. You can toggle between the men's and women's collections. And then they have a tab across the top for all the different categories. So it is really easy to go through and look at everything. You start out by the seeing the looks in this collection. I am not a huge fan of these looks, to be honest. When you put multiple pieces from this collection together, it can be extremely overwhelming. But when worn individually, I do think some of these pieces look nice. Here we start out with leather goods. This is the monogram eclipse with grayscale infinity dots. These pieces I really like. I think when you uh, take the color out and it's just grayscale, it's not quite as overwhelming. I do like the look of some of these pieces. The one that I think would probably be the best purchase from this collection is the Pochette Voyage. I think this piece is relatively well priced at $1,440. The Pochette Voyage is normally priced at $1,030. So I think that is an appropriate markup for a special collection. It's also decently sized and it can work as either a toiletry pouch or you could even wear it out as a clutch. So I think this is a really versatile piece, plus it works well for both men and women. So the Pochette Voyage is my personal pick in this colorway. The next colorway we see for men's leather goods is a black trillion leather with red infinity dots on top. There's only four leather goods available in this particular colorway, and they are repeats of the ones that we just saw in the monogram eclipse. Next up, we have my personal favorite. This is a white emprunt leather with the blue psychedelic flower print on top. This is one of Kusama's uh, most well-known prints, the psychedelic flower, and it is featured a lot in this collection. I wish they did some women's pieces in this colorway. I really love it. They have a bum bag, which I think is a great choice. They have the sack plat, which is almost like a men's version of the on the go tote. And of course the push up voyage, which is my personal pick from this collection. This is priced quite a bit higher than the one in monogram canvas. This is $1,790. However, I do think it's a very versatile piece. 
and it is relatively well priced for this collection because the prices for this uh, Kusama collaboration are very, very high even when compared to other special collections that Louis Vuitton has released recently. So I think you really need to like these items if you're going to get one and you just really want a piece of this collection. Um, I wanted to also just show a close-up of the bum bag because I know the women's bum bag was discontinued recently and it was very popular. This is $3,500 again, so it's really expensive. But if you're looking for a bum bag and you're willing to pay the premium in leather with this blue flower, I do think it's a gorgeous choice. Now, those are all of the leather goods that we have to look at for men's. Let's navigate over to the SLGs, the small leather goods, and see what they have available there. It's a lot of the uh, typical pieces that we see featured in special collections, but the prices are just so high. The key clay is $610 that normally retails for $325. It's almost double the price. All of these, the pocket organizer, the multiple wallet, the card holder are way above the normal retail price. We also see a couple leather goods available in the same colorways. Uh, that we just saw on the previous page. I'm not going to spend a lot of time here, but you can screenshot all of the uh, photos with the item IDs and prices. Moving over to ready to wear, this is actually my favorite look for ready to wear, the grayscale monogram with infinity dots. I think this looks nice in casual pieces like this puffer coat and the sweatshirt because it's a little more playful so i think it works well with these casual pieces i don't like it in the more formal pieces like the button down coat this does look really nice because the uh, infinity dots look like they almost have a a light shimmer or almost like a semi uh, shine to them so i do think this actually looks really nice and yeah, it does say the emblematic dots. It doesn't say if it's shiny, but it almost has a glimmer to it in the photo. The black and white dots uh, on the two pieces on the left, I think it's a bit much. The psychedelic flower, I think, is a really great look. At $760, it's actually pretty well priced if you are looking for a piece of ready to wear. I also like it on the hoodie, but it's it, it, that one is priced quite high. I think the best buy would probably be the t-shirt if you like that look. Moving on to shoes, they have the LV trainers, which are always super popular in three different colorways, the black, red, and green. These are probably going to be super hard to get and probably only reserved for VIPs. Moving on to accessories, the only ones I really like are the four on top here with the black and white dots. But I think if you want something from this collection, accessories are a good way to go because these prints are very playful and in my opinion work best in small doses. So just getting a small accessory with the print on it, I think is a great way to incorporate these prints into your outfit without being too overwhelming. We have a fragrance with dots on it. And then the final category is art of living. And these pieces we'll see again when we look at the women's collection, but they are also cross-listed with the men's collection as well. And again, these are priced really high. There's a lot of trunk options available some notebooks, the pencil case, the Scott box, a lot of the home decor that we typically see in special collections. There is also a Vivienne doll stylized as Yayoi Kusama, who of course is the artist um, you know, that they collaborated with for this collection. These Vivian dolls are super expensive, but when you look at the size of them, this giant one is over a foot tall. It's 14 inches tall, but I do think she looks really cute, and I love that she's carrying her own little Alma bag. So uh, that's everything from the men's collection. 
Let's move over now to women's. There's a lot to go through here. Same as with the men's collections, we start out looking at the women's looks. Just like the men's, these are a lot when you put all the pieces together. The one I uh, look I do like is this middle look here. I think it's very Corella DeVille does the beach in the summer. That's a really cute look. Um, but again, a lot of them, it's a lot when you put multiple pieces from this collection together. Moving over to women's leather goods. This lookbook starts off with a bang. On the men's side, we started with canvas. Here we see Louis Vuitton's top bags in leather, the Capucine, the Petit Mall, and the Dauphine. Louis Vuitton means business. Let's take a really quick close look at the Capucine. This is the larger option that's available. It's the MM size, priced at $8,800. Very high priced, but the capucines do typically command a premium. I do like the interior, how they have the pumpkin logo in the middle. That is the special branding for this collection. It says Louis Vuitton Yayoi Kusama, and I believe it has the date on there as well. Here is the item ID for this particular piece. And I do think it's interesting under the uh, detailed features, it does say that it has 3D painted dots print. So when you look at the dots, it's not a flat screen print on the leather. There is an actual 3D texture to the infinity dots. So I do like that added detail. We see the Petite Mall, which again is another one of Louis Vuitton's iconic uh, bag styles. Here we see the Cousin PM, which is my pick from this collection if you want a woman's bag. I think this is very well priced at $5,250, and it comes with this gorgeous silver chain strap with enameled dots on it. And I think this is just the perfect amount of this print paired with the lovely creamy embossed lambskin leather. But then you open it up and you see this gorgeous, playful, bright yellow interior. So I think that just adds a little something special to this look. So this would be my pick if you're looking for a women's bag from this collection. And of course, here are the product details if you would like that information. Now let's move on because there's a lot more to look at in this collection. Next up, we have the monogram canvas pieces with multicolor infinity dots. I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about all of these pieces individually because there's a lot to go through, but you can see all of the pieces with their prices. I want to move on to my next pick for a bag from this collection, which is this black and white Neverfull. I'm sure a lot of people will disagree with me on this pick because the Neverfull is quote unquote basic, but I do like the black and white print. It's not my number one pick because it's I think a little overpriced at $3,600. That's almost $1,000 more than the Leather Never Full normally goes for. Part of that price increase, I think, is this pumpkin charm that's hanging down. The Never Full doesn't normally come with a charm, but this one does. Uh, but I love the print. I love that the pocket has the contrasting dots in white and black as opposed to black and white. It does have the special pumpkin emblem inside the bag. Um, so again, I really like it. Here's the product information. I just think it's priced really high. That Neverfull does also come in a red and, and white as well. And all of these pieces come with charms, uh, either red and white or black and white charms to match the colorway of the bag. Here we see more classic bag styles, such as the On The Go, Neo Noe, and Speedy Bandolier 20. Sorry, the 20 is cut off on the side, but that is the Speedy B20 size. 
Here we have more classic styles in the black and white colorway. It looks like these all come with the pumpkin bag charm as well. And here's a new colorway, the yellow and black. This isn't my personal favorite. It kind of reminds me of like Swiss cheese, but I do know a lot of people like this. And I think if you style it the right way, it can look really nice with an outfit. There are a few upgrades here, as you can see on the Alma. The patch pocket in the back is also epi leather with contrasting dots. Um, I like that. Usually the patch pocket in the back is just fabric. My favorite part of this piece is the pumpkin charm. I think the charm looks really cute in the yellow and black colorway. Next up, we have my next favorite piece, the Twist MM in black and white. I really like how they incorporated the dots on the twist lock as well as on the bandolier. I love that there's opposite colors on each side of the strap and it looks like the strap is reversible as well. We do also see an upgraded interior on the inside of this bag with the epi leather patch pocket. There's also a made in France tag next to the pocket which is interesting because I haven't seen one of those in a while. Going back to the front of the bag, I really like that twist lock. And here's a close up of the bandolier. This would look really cute on any other black bag as well. The product details for anyone who's interested. And now back to the main page, we see more of the classic styles in the red and white colorway. And we're wrapping up leather goods with more capucines. Here is the capucine with the mirrored balls. This I thought was really funny. They had to blur out all of the mirrored balls on this capucine so we wouldn't see the studio and camera equipment reflected in the product photo. I thought that was really funny. Um, but this is a really beautiful bag. In my personal opinion, if you're a collector and you like capucines, I think this is a really lovely piece. It's priced exceptionally high at $10,200, but I'm sure it will be produced in very limited qualities and only go to the VIP clients. I did notice in the product details, there is a zipper pull shaped like a pumpkin on the inside of this bag. You couldn't see it in the product photos, but they did put a lot of uh, care and thought into the design of this bag. And wrapping up leather goods, back on the main page, we see two more capucine in the psychedelic flower print. Now moving on to SLGs, small leather goods. There's a lot in this monogram canvas with the multicolor dots. Here we see the Nano Speedy that was not available on the EU site. It is available on the US site for $2,440. There's all the typical SLGs, Sarah Wallet, Victorine Wallet, Zippy Wallet, with very high premium pricing. I don't know if I think these pieces are particularly worth it, but they are the least expensive pieces if you do want something from this collection. Oh, and I have to point out, the mini pochette accessoire is now over a thousand dollars in this collection 1080 for a mini pochette accessoire that's just crazy anyway we have more wallets and small bags in the same colorways that we've seen before these bags i believe were also on the leather goods page here we have the kiragami set which i think will be pretty popular because these pieces are very functional the Kirigami set comes in black, red, and yellow infinity dots. And then we wrap things up with two more wallets. Moving on to ready to wear. The women's ready to wear is not my favorite out of this collection, particularly these multicolor dot pieces. I think they look very busy, whether it's on the black or white, The just the all over multicolored dot print is very overwhelming. I also think they're priced too high, such as this multicolored t-shirt for over a thousand dollars. You can buy Louis Vuitton cotton t-shirts and other prints for well under a thousand dollars. So I just don't think these pieces really should be commanding the high price they've put on it. So 
I really don't see a lot in the women's collection that speaks to me personally. These uh, just plain black and white ones aren't as bad. I think at a distance, the black and white and a little further down, there's a skirt in yellow and black. These almost read like an animal print to me when you're not quite up close, particularly the yellow and black, which we'll get to in a minute almost looks like an animal print from far away. So it's it's not too bad, but at that point, I would just get an animal print um, piece of clothing if that's the look I was going for. This here is the last of the women's ready to wear from this collection. These are actually the only three pieces I really do like with the psychedelic flower print. I think the cut and the shape of these pieces looks really flattering. I love this flower print and the way it's woven, it looks like it has almost a metallic shimmer to it. Let's look at the product details. Yes, it does say that it's a silk blend jacquard with metallic threads discreetly woven through for a shimmery finish. These pieces I really like. They are on the pricey side. I think um, they ranged from two to four thousand dollars, depending on if you get the shirt, the skirt, or the blouse or the dress. Excuse me, but I do think they look really nice, particularly this skirt. If you paired it with a really nice, you know, just like even a plain black top, that would look really stunning. Moving on to shoes, there's not a lot here. We see the usual boot. Oh, on the EU site, this boot was available in all over canvas. On the US site, I only see it in black leather with the canvas block heel. Um, so that was one difference between the US and the EU availability. We see a lot of sneakers as well as a pair of loafers. Not really too much in the shoe department. Let's move on to accessories. Again, I think accessories are really nice if you want to add a touch of this collection into your look, but you don't want a full-on bag or piece of ready-to-wear. I think the silks are a really great alternative and they are much lower priced than the ready-to-wear. I think these silks look really nice when you see how they how the print shows when you wrap them up. Let's look at this other one down here. It looks like a trunk print with the multicolored dots on it. When you see how it would look worn, I think that's a really great look. Personally, I would recommend a silk if you're interested in this collection. They do also have the infinity dots with the pumpkin print in both a silk square as well as a bandeau. These are priced a little higher than the silks are normally priced. For example, the bandeau I think is $20 more than the bandeaus usually are priced, but $20 is not a huge amount extra to pay for something from a special collection. Some pieces like this key ring are just, this is obscenely overpriced. $1,000 for a key ring, I, I just can't personally recommend that. These jewelry pieces here look really interesting. The mirrored ball on the necklace as well as the earrings. Again, this is blurred out because I'm sure it was just reflecting the camera and the studio. Um, but these are a high shine metallic finish. It says that it's made out of metal with a palladium finish. This necklace is over $2,000. I would expect a a higher end like white gold to be used. I don't know if maybe I'm off on my price estimate. Let me know what you think on the in the comments below. I think that's a little high for that particular piece. Fragrances, again, we have more bottles with the infinity dots on them. We do also have a fragrance trunk as well as a few travel cases in both epi leather as well as canvas. And the final category is art of living. And again, these are pieces that we already saw in the men's collection. They're just cross-listed in the lookbook under both men and women. So I'll just show the pieces again to refresh your memory, but there's nothing new here that we haven't seen before. 
And that is everything coming in drop one of the Kusama collaboration on January 5th. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section below what you think of this collection. What pieces do you like, do you not like, and are you getting anything? Don't forget to come back every Wednesday and Friday for new videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.